everybody, Jonathan Martin and it's Painted Love, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on getting a, a rustic finish using anti-flown paint as a stain. Um, I'm at my friend's house, this is her shed, and this piece of furniture she's picked up relatively cheap, it's quite worn, and she wants to use it as a crafting desk and an occasional sort of dining table too. So, what we're going to do is strip the old varnish off, if you're coming closer, can take a look at how poor the finish on, on this is. I think it's probably been outside, it's quite water stained. But all we're going to do is remove, quite roughly, remove this finish off the top, ready for staining. So here goes with the sander, quite noisy. Once you've finished with your sander, take it away because we're going to be using uh, liquid, so water, so you don't want your electrics anywhere. is quickly, as quick as we can, we're going to apply this all over the timber, quite quick you need to work with this. Whilst I've been waiting for the stain to dry, I've uh, painted underneath this table and I've used um, olive. If you come up to the top, you can see the stain. It actually looks a bit like French linen, but it's not. It's graphite. We, I used a damp cloth to remove um, the surplus paint and now it's dried in and you can see it really does look like French linen. So. What we're going to use is this wonderful gadget. It's from Iron Orchid Design. I've used it on another project, but we're going to create a pattern around the edge. Um, and all that you need to do is load up your roller and just go for it, really. But in preparation to that, because I'm doing a 45 degree angle on the corners, what I've done is got a set square and I've marked out with a, with a crayon just about where the 45 degree angle is and then I've used masking tape on one side and we'll do one run and then we'll do the back run. We'll leave it to dry and then we'll flip the masking tape to the opposite side and do up and down the other way. So here goes, this, this requires a steady hand. Make sure you load up your roller really well. You need plenty of paint into the sponge part of the roller and it, all it is is just a steady hand. So here we go. Let's see how steady my hand is. So line it up to where the edge, and you're going to do it by eye. And we're going to just, with a firm hand, that's it. We're just going to keep it steady. Print, 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 print. This is the fun part. Go all the way to other. Right, all of the um, pattern is now on the table. What I'm going to do is clear wax and dark wax. I am, it's getting dark now, so I'm not going to carry on with the video, but what I will do is show you the end results via my page pictures. So you can basically see this is how it looks at the moment. We're going to use clear and dark. So this is going to get a lot darker. This should pop out a little bit more. We may use a bit of dark on the olive at the bottom. Um, but I hope that my tutorial explained most. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you, you give some washes a, a go because I love Annie Sloan paint as a wash. I think it's great and as a stain. Um, if you want to go for that nautical feel, um, French linen's a great color to knock out the orange of um, pine. Um, we'll see what this looks like at the end. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.